again. Um, I'm not really going to say what morning it is because it really doesn't matter. It's morning. Uh, I'm on my way into work and we're going to do another little ride along here. Uh, wrapping up the week. It's a short week for me, so today is actually my Friday. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I uh, wanted to just jump on real quick, do an intro for a video I've been working on. Now again, I'm going back into the garage. I'm not crazy about doing that. I've talked about that before. It kind of weirds me out just sitting there talking to the camera. But, you know, it is an evil necessity, I guess, because I want to get back to kind of the whole reason I started this channel, which is the bagger on a budget. Um, talking about things that uh, can save you money when, you know, doing motorcycle adventures, if you will. Um, you know, I enjoy doing some moto camping. I wish I could do more of it. And one of the, the, the hang-ups I had with motor camping, um, or moto camping, I should say, is, I think I've mentioned it, I do have obstructive airway sleep apnea. So it requires me to use a CPAP machine. If you're not familiar with CPAP machines, it uh, basically forces air down your throat when you sleep to keep it from closing up um, because that's what happens. Your throat closes up. Some people think it's only for people that are obese. Um, it's not. Um, I'm no longer obese. I used to be, but uh, no longer obese, and I still have to use my CPAP machine. So um, that kind of limits me on, on where I can go because I'm always looking for you know, places with electricity. Um, and that's twofold. It limits me on campgrounds and it also price. Um, you're going to pay more money for a site with electricity. Um, there are so many options out there um, if you're able to boondock. Um, there are free options for camping. Um, we have an awesome you know, wildlife management system throughout this country and there are places um, that you can just camp for absolutely free. Um, if you follow the motorcycle vagabonds like Scooter Tramp Scotty and those guys, uh, you know, they just pull off into the woods and camp. I'm not that bold, but uh, there are options for camping free. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, uh, your state and federal park systems are awesome. Um, when I did my Skyline Drive video, I stayed in a federal park and uh, I mentioned that I am a disabled veteran, so I get those half off. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, I can, I can definitely save some money. So, I got this device, and that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to cut into the, drop, the garage here in a minute. Um, and I was looking for options to power my CPAP machine. So, uh, I want to get off the grid and be able to power this thing when I moto camp. So, you know, if you look online, there's various options ranging in price. You can go all the way up to like 600 bucks for a CPAP battery. Um, or, you know, deep cycle marine batteries, and there's really not a whole lot of content online regarding CPAPs and camping, specifically moto camping. Uh, there's some regular camping type stuff, and their options are just too big and bulky for being on a motorcycle. So I found this device on Amazon. Um, it is a jump pack. Uh, I did a lot of research on it, researched my machine, um, what the requirements were for it. So by no means am I an expert. If you have the same condition and you would like to get out and do some moto camping as well, um, you might want to research your machine and the requirements. So I have a RestMed AirSense 10. It basically needs uh, about 20 amp hours to give me uh, eight hours of sleep, which I never get eight hours of sleep, but that's a good threshold to set for. Um, so this jump pack that I found provides 23 amp hours. So it's 23 amp hours of, of power, so that should be plenty of time. I tested it when I did my Skyline Drive trip. Not a full test, that's why I really haven't talked about it. And I don't want to call this a review, this is just my experience with a piece of equipment. Um, so I ran it when I was up there at Skyline Drive, it ran my uh, CPAP just fine. I did not get a full night's sleep because there was some activity in the park around 3.30 in the morning when the rangers were trying to chase off some bears. So it ran my machine from about 10 to 3.30 a.m. Um, and it still had two bars of charge on it. So uh, like I said, it's 23 amp hours um, of power. So uh, not too shabby. So that's that. Again, if you don't have a CPAP machine, maybe you're just looking for a power option while you're motor camping, you know, to charge your GoPro batteries, uh, charge your cell phone, maybe run a portable fan. Uh, this thing is awesome. And the great thing is, again, bagger on a budget, the whole price point of this thing. 
Um, I checked last night. It's on sale again on Amazon for $76. Um, I will link it below, the link to it. Um, when I bought it, it was 89. I had various coupon codes and stuff like that. Um, so I think I ended up only paying like 20 out of pocket for it. So um, that's that. That's the quick intro. So much for quick. Um, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna hurry up and get into the office because I do not want to destroy my cameras. Welcome back to the pig pen or the messy garage. One other thing I always forget to do, please hit that like button. Um, really helps me out, really helps the channel out. So uh, if you've watched this far, please give me a thumbs up, Check, uh, like this video. Um, while you're liking, go ahead and subscribe, it's free. Um, I might put out some more stuff that you might like to watch. So give me a like, give me a subscribe, I greatly this appreciate it. This right here, this is a nice carry case, it's hard carrying case. Um, as you can see, that's my hand, uh, my foot for reference on how big it is. About maybe foot long, I wear about a size 12. So yeah, maybe a foot long. Um, but anyway, um, AVA POW, AVA POW, don't know, they have a website on here. Um, AVAPOWTech.com. Um, anyway, I found them on Amazon. Um, and so you have this nice carrying case, it opens up on this side over here, you have all your cables, we'll talk about those in a minute. And then on this side, you have the actual unit. Um, we'll pop this out, set it over here. So let's talk about these cables a little bit. So you have, we'll start with the obvious. Of course you have your alligator clip um, for jump starting. And we also have a 12 volt outlet that we can plug into it. And then this cable is the charging cable to charge it uh, via the USB connection into it, like a 12 volt outlet or a wall outlet or whatever you're using to recharge it. Um, I don't have the times on recharge and of course an owner's manual. So like I said, I used this when I went to um, Skyline Drive. Um, it ran my machine. I, it was a rainy trip, I just got home. I didn't try to charge on the bike on the way home. I just charged it again. It'll charge, um, you know, four or five hours at home. So I, I'm sure it's gonna be a full day of riding to get it back to a full charge on 12 volt trickle. Um, but a little bit about the features here of this unit. So um, this thing, uh, first of all, you have a little indicator right here. You press that button down. I've got full bars, four bars, it's fully charged. Um, on top, it has a flashlight. So if you hold this power button down, the flashlight comes on. You hold it again, flashlight goes off. Um, on top here, you have this around this way, um, USB one, USB two, and then your type C in, which is your charging cable. So there's your two USBs and your, your input for charging. Um, over here on this side, this is the big plug for this thing to jump start. So from what I understand, you plug that in, you power it up, you connect these to your, your negative positive on your battery and give it a whirl. I have not tried to jump start anything with it, but supposedly it will jump start a V8 or a V8 diesel engine. So it's 300, 3000 amps. So supposedly it'll, it'll pack a pretty good punch. Um, this other adapter here is what I use for my CPAP. So this plugs in the side over here. There's a hole right there. That goes right in there. And then for my CPAP machine, I have a 12 volt plug that I purchased on Amazon as well. A little uh, CPAP is already 12 volt. Um, in the house, you actually have a converter that converts your, your AC to DC and allows you to run it in your house. So it plugs pretty much straight into that cigarette lighter and powers the CPAP machine. So that's this cool little unit. Um, again, you know, right now, like I said, 79 bucks on Amazon, you can have this thing. Um, multi-purpose um, and you know not only can you power something like a CPAP machine um, your, your, you know you can charge your cell phone your GoPro batteries uh, whatever you have with you you can use this as a, as a backup power supply um, I think it's worth it and, and also it's a jump starter so it's got you know when we're traveling on these bikes you know storage is key so this is a pretty versatile little 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 power pack there so 
pretty excited about trying it on my next trip. Okay, so that's that. Um, there's one other thing I want to show you. If you haven't noticed yet, my hat. It's a pretty sweet hat. I've been looking for this thing. Um, I found it at a flea market and they had a whole box of them and I should have bought the whole box because they're awesome hats. Um, if I'd have known I was going here, then I could have like a store online and sell these hats. But anyway, um, I, I lose it all the time. I find it in weird places like the trash can. I, I don't know why, but thank goodness I found it again. So it's my hat. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you checking out this video again, trying to get back to the bagger on a budget, show you guys some, some inexpensive options for moto camping. Um, to, to get away from that tether of being attached to electricity. Because again, you may not want to be a full-time moto camper, but maybe you want to, on your next road trip, maybe camp one or two nights um, in between hotels, to save a little money. This will open that up. And like I've already mentioned it before, like with dispersed camping, you know, there are several places in this country that you can camp for free and you know wildlife management areas and stuff like that and if you're even bold enough to do like some of the the moto vagabonds if you follow them you know like scooter tramp scotty and just like pull off the side of the road and camp um, i'm not that bold but um that's a pretty good option and then state and federal parks of course you know sometimes you can camp for five ten bucks a night and this will give you um, a power source to power that cpap machine or charge your your, your batteries while you sleep so um Hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully some of you will look into it. I will link it below um, to the Amazon link. Um, and I've got some more stuff here. If you look right over here, this is my pile of stuff. I'm getting it all out to get ready for my moto camping trip in the month. Um, it's just this stuff, not that. That's my Zodiac. And don't ask why I have a Zodiac. I just, I'm a tired sailor, I got a Zodiac. I like to go paddle around in it. But anyway, that's, that's my camping stuff right there. Um, and it's the stuff in that box, my tent, my little cooler. Um, and I'll tell you right now, we'll go over some of that stuff and I start packing and I'll show you how I load up new LMA, but uh, it's less than a hundred bucks with a gear in that, in that box. So uh, we'll go over some of those things also that I use when I moto camp. So that's it, um, it's a short week for me. Got some big plans this weekend. We're heading back down to the beach. So I wanted to knock something out it's Wednesday night. Um, and I'll get this up maybe this weekend. So I've got some content out there and it's hopefully something you guys enjoy. So with that said, I'm looking forward to get back on the Wella May, do some more good old fashioned moto vlogging and riding, talking to you guys. Um, but that's it for uh, this week. So you guys be careful, you guys be safe, keep that shiny side up and we'll talk to you next time.